Welcome back, everybody. Hope you guys had a good start to the week. Not too many bad Mondays out there. Got some interesting footage today. All right. First thing I want everybody to notice, even when the sun is covered, we're still getting off illumination meaning that the lights really not penetrating the left side of the sky as well as it sh should be and you can see the shadow line as the sun gets lower it'll start to illuminate more of this area leaving this more still dark as you can see, as oh, the sun gets, the brighter this spot gets, because that's where the light's being stopped and blocked. Again, the light going down and under. The sun is over here. and then we have that see this shows there is something here blocking the light cutting off the light because this right here would not be seen unless there was something there for it to cast onto To have a shadow, you need something for the shadow to cast on. So now, see how this is all lit? See how it's brighter here, all the way across? Light going down and under. Got a break of light. You can see where the light is breaking around here. There's the sun. Well, it's where the sun light is coming anyway. You can see dark, 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 dark. Sun gets lower, gets a little brighter. Something catches a shadow, casts across the entire sky. Now, to see a shadow, there has to be something there for the shadow to cast onto. Remember that. <laughs> All right, here we have something in here in the background. You can see the lights breaking all around it. And as the sun comes up, uh, again, look how dark this is over here. We have casted shadow. We got the sun coming up in this weird configuration. Looks like it's coming up from behind something because the light's coming around the side of it. And watch how the just pops right up there. See that curve? curve right there and that's the light coming out from the side of it you see how it wraps around and drips down there see that look at all the cutoff points where the, what what was supposedly blue sky <laughs> this is all blue sky why is it cutting off the sun why is over here cutting off the sun it's because the sun was coming up from behind something or around the side of something and we got these little flares right here. And those flares are actually going to come in handy today. On this next pass, we'll keep an eye on those. You can see how the light's all trapped right in here. And then it just pops up around the side. See that? That's not how the sun moves. Now let's keep an eye on these flares. They're going to show us something. They're going to show us how the light is coming around the top of something or the side of something. See? Straight edge. Look how dark it is over there. See how the clouds are just dropping into shadow? Never really gets bright over there. Next location. 
let's have another look on the left side here of the sun. As you can see the light is breaking around this already. As the sun starts to come up, you can tell it's definitely behind something because all the shadow here, light's being blocked. Otherwise, the rest of the sky would be illuminating very bright, or at least brighter blue than that, and nothing would be falling into shadow. As we can see by these clouds, they are going into shadow, losing the light, disappearing. Same for that. I mean, if the clouds way over there, it can be bright. Why can't these? I'll tell you why, because they're falling into shadow, see? All right, see how bright it is up here? That is reflecting light as the sun is beginning to come up. It's catching the bottom of that up there. Now, if that up there isn't there, then why is it when the sun comes up, it gets darker up there, and all the light seems to be pressing along the horizon, staying at the horizon area. See this back here in the background? See how dark it stands? See how these are clouds are just falling into the shadow again? You see how the light's really coming out down here, being blocked here. You can see something else up, up in there, this whole area right here. See how it's going a different direction than our clouds, showing the edge. Now, same location, as you can see, the edge is still there. Because now the light's coming down and under and being blocked and streaking across the sky and then it gets really bright for a little bit and then it goes dark <laughs> the illumination shouldn't change it shouldn't get brighter before it gets you know before the sun is gone completely and it only gets brighter when the sun is at the horizon I don't mean the clouds, I mean the sky behind it. See how the shadow just sticks around the whole time? The entire time. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of shadow up there, but that one is pretty, pretty much right there with the sun the whole time. Clouds keep moving in and out of that area, but that area keeps staying shadowed. Just like, you know, this is all green and this is all like a blue. Let's watch that backwards, just for fun. See, this shadow is staying really pretty much there the whole time. Clouds keep moving in and out of it, but it stays. See how all this is really bright? And all this is really bright at the beginning? See how it's all reflecting light all over the place? When the sun first comes up, see? Bright reflection, bright reflection. Sun coming up from underneath something right there. You can see the shadow. There it is. As the sun comes up, you can see how it was going around. Now it's way over here. But something keeps casting the shadow here, even though the clouds are moving in and out of that area. That's the area that stayed shadowed. As you can see right here, it's all shadowed. All these clouds going into this area aren't as dark as they are when they get there. <laughs> now you can see how the sun is reflecting here. No light is passing here. As the sun goes down, it gets brighter because it's then reflecting on something that's reflecting the light back at us. Also see here this whole shaded area. That sun is really bright on this camera. But once it's covered up, you can see how this is all shaded over here.
See how the light's just cutting right here? It's got a, how the light bends around things kind of look there. Look at all the shadow that starts right away. Look at all the shadow that's starting over here. See how the shadow's cutting across? Now it's getting really bright because the sun's going down. It's illuminating everything and catching the back dark side of it right here. You can see it. Light's still reflecting on it. For the most part, we're looking at the back sides of them, so it's just going to be a darker shade of blue to us. Like this area, darker shade of blue. See how the sun pinching through here? If the sun wasn't in the face of the camera, we would see much better, like right here, how the light is being cut off right there. Also, how the light was being cut off here until the sun got low enough to actually illuminate it. And here, see the shadow? See, the sun goes down over here. But the light is traveling over the top of something. So it's... I mean, if there was no clouds, we would see just one point of light. Because the brightest point in the sky is what we're going to see always. See all the lights everywhere? Thanks for watching.